Hello Wargamers, Von Lomenaccio here. I'm with uh, Mark Faust again. We're going to do another army showcase. Stop that. <laughs> We're going to do another army showcase today. And so Mark, why don't you show us what you've got to show our audience today? Uh, I got some uh, Chaos Space Marines. Uh, Nurgle. So they're pretty gross, you know, in a good way. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, why don't you walk us through with your HQ choices? Uh, we got Typhus, so he's always cool. He's got uh, two second powers a turn. They all got to be disciplined on their goal, which is okay. <clears throat> uh, he can do some character hunting. He's, uh, his weapon's plus two strength, AP2. And it's a demon weapon and a force weapon. So it's a pretty nasty weapon. He's got that sight. Um, he's good. I think he's the toughest five or six. I think he's tough to six. I don't remember offhand. Uh, but he's got the extra toughness from Nurgle. Uh, <clears throat> good, good in close combat, and the two second powers are nice, but they have even missed one in their role. So, which they got some good stuff, so I shouldn't be complaining. <laughs> uh, nice. Next up, I got uh, a Nurgle Demon Prince uh, with wings and mastery level three. So he does three second powers a turn. What I typically do, you have to take one from the discipline on Nurgle from the Chaos Space Room Codex, and I'm probably going to do the other two on Biomancy. Uh, either that, or there's one other one you can take from that's pretty nice too. But Biomancy is really nasty for him, because if you get those upgrade ones, he'll just tear stuff apart. Uh, <clears throat> then he does have a Spell Familiar, I got him down here, this little dude. Use that for the Spell Familiar, so you can reroll yep. failed Psychic Tests, which is pretty nice. There he is. So, you gotta, it's all or nothing, though. you gotta reroll all of them or none of them. So, it's still nice to have, so if you totally screw up a Psychic Test, you know, when you're trying to roll four pluses or whatever, I don't like that. I'm going to reroll, and it's for each psychic test you do. So that's pretty cool. Okay. And right now, he just has the regular close combat weapon. Uh, but I, what I did, I rearranged the points to have him with the black mace. I just got to get the black mace and then find some way to attach him. I'm probably going to magnetize it, if anything. So once I do that, they'll be all done, though. And I'm thinking for the black mace, I'm going to paint it on the primer black, uh, spray it with like a cast black paint with airbrush. <clears throat> and then I might do some highlights with a codex gray or whatever they call it. I forget the name. Probably administratum gray. Uh, and do some highlights along the edge. You can make it pop a little bit more. And I was going to art coat the entire thing so the black mace looks like it's obsidian, which would be kind of cool. So that's it for the HQs. <clears throat> uh, this is 1,500 points, by the way, too. So he's very expensive with the black mace. He's like 300 some points. <laughs> what are the demon prints? Are you really yeah, surprised? Yeah, he's, he's tricked out, though. But yeah. <coughs> then, uh, for troops, I have two squads of ten uh, Plague Marines. Uh, since Typhus is here, Plague Marines are troops, since he's an HQ. <coughs> uh, the basic loadout is they all have the Plague Knives and Bolt Guns. I think they come with Bolt Pistols, too. Uh, two guys in each squad have Melta Guns. Uh, <coughs> and then they're both the same, same kit out the same. So Champion's right there with the Plague Sword, and Champion's right here with the Plague Sword. Um, <clears throat> then, what's cool about this is the this is a normal squad over here. This is an old school squad. I actually picked up all these guys at a local auction last year, uh, gaming auction. So naturally, they uh, they turned out really well. It's kind of funny because these front five guys are very old guys. They're like um, I'm gonna give you a shot of that. They're like second edition miniatures or third. I mean, they're plastic, so I'm, I'm guessing they're third, not second. Uh, I would say they, third edition yeah, easily. Maybe second. They got like a goofy pose though because they're very old. But uh, <laughs> it's, it was crazy. I got them unbuilt, unpainted. And by unbuilt, I mean, you know, the backpack wasn't on and they weren't glued to the base because the body and arms are one piece. Uh, but it was kind of cool. Unbuilt, unpainted, new in the box, all the old decals. So there was a five of them in the squad. And I picked up uh, the champion right here, who's a metal blister. <clears throat> I picked up a melted gun guy right here. That was the metal blister. I picked up a, another guy. I think it was a standard bolt gun guy, but I just glued a melted gun tip on to convert it. Then this guy was actually a standard bearer. Uh, he had a, a pole he was holding in his hand with like a the icon, uh, but I clipped it off for a bolt gun and bolt pistol. So, nice. so I converted that just to a regular guy. And then this guy, I'm pretty sure, is one of the guys from the Armor Through the Ages. Or not Armor Through the Ages. Um, the, they make a pack of it still, where they give you one of each mark of chaos. So there's this is one of the Nurgle guys, there's a Korn, a Slanesh, and a Zinch. 
So it was kind of cool, so I kind of got a good mix of the old school armor in there. So, <laughs> then of course, the really fun stuff, the Terminators. <laughs> um, I got uh, se uh, seven guys and then one champion. The champion is right here. He has a... Um, uh, they all have combi melt up, but he has a chain fist uh, for some anti-tank and just, you know, still anti, you know, other Terminators or other scary stuff. Uh, so he's the Terminator uh, champion for this squad. Uh, they all have Mark and Urgle, so they're toughness 5, which is really nasty. <coughs> uh, I have three guys, one, two, and three, that have power fist combi melt up, then four guys that have power axe combi melt up. So they are they all are unwieldy, which means they're striking initiative one, but they're gonna hit really hard. They're all AP two weapons and some of them are you know strength eight and the others are strength five because the power axe gives you plus one strength. So that's like the anti you know character, you know, HQ hunting squad. I can attest to that. <laughs> yeah, I think Tigers was the only one left in there. He was, yeah, but uh, he did some damage by himself. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, and it was one of those things. Where didn't you have you had what the wave serpent and the falcon, or two wave serpents, or something? I had a wave. I had a falcon and a wave serpent. Yeah, yeah. with some dire avengers still yeah, alive. Yeah, and it was like, oh, and the typhus is sitting in the middle of the table, hiding in the building, and it's like, I'm not, He's like, I'm not going out there. <laughs> I'm not surprised. He and his squad single hand took out a wraith knight. Yeah, that was. Oh yeah, that was. That was down to the wire, though. I mean, That's true. You, 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 how you knocked off almost? Of, I knocked off like two like, or three Terminators with just the Wraith Knight. Yeah. And, and then and then the uh, Rangers dealt oh, some more blows. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, but it was oh, it was a crazy game. Yeah. And then the I didn't, what, the, what was the Dio Prince doing? Oh, he already, oh, he already died. Right? He died from ma from Mast Flat. Oh, oh, that's right. Yeah. Cause oh, was it? I forgot what shot at him. I think it was. was it uh, oh, the Dark Avengers Blade stormed him. I think. Yeah. The other squad. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He got a lot of sixes too. I was like, oh my. <laughs> well, he did what he needed to do. He just he drew off enough fire for Typhus to get close. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But then yeah, then that's but then another thing. That's what my my play range. I just sit on objectives in the back. They're stubborn as hell to get out yeah, of. Yeah. I for mean, sure. they're they're fearless, and on top of that, they have feel no pain with a three plus armor save. Mm -hmm. So even if they're not getting their armor save, I stick them in the crater and in a ruin. They're getting a four plus cover save. And a five plus heal on things. They're really go. hard to move off an objective. All right, so show us what these little bad boys are on here on the left. <laughs> uh, this is a great unclean one I've been working on. Uh, I just decided to paint it up because they have a Nurgle army, so I figured it would work. You know, maybe for just a display piece. Uh, this is just a one wash on there so far. I think it's Coelia Green Shade. Uh, so that's just to do the skin. Then I'm going to do a lot of different painting for all the nasty, you know, sores and. Uh, all the little tubey things sticking the, off. Yeah, and the, pustules. Yeah. And so he'll, he'll, he'll be cool when he's done. Uh, so I, I had this. I had it sitting around. I figured, okay, I'll paint it up for the army. Well, I'm thinking maybe I'll make an allied detachment of, like, Nurgle Cast Demons. Just because I have him for HQ and whatever else. Yeah, why not? Maybe get some Plague Bearers. Oh, yeah. Then this guy is actually an old uh, Demon Prince. Uh, this is this is the old metal one, as you can probably tell. Uh, it's pretty cool. I thought maybe... Uh, what I was going to do, <laughs> since this champion right here does have uh, Gift of Mutation, there is a chance you can turn into a Demon Prince. So, and on the crazy roll, it's like a 65 or 66 when you roll D6 and another D6 on the boom table. So, but there's an off chance. And then, also, Typhus could turn into a Demon Prince as well. Because he's also a character. Yeah, well, I think you have to have the the, the Champion of Chaos roll. That's it. So yeah, because that lets you when you when you kill a character in a challenge, you roll on the boon table every time you do, and you roll a d6 for the ten spot and a d6 for the one spot. You know, so if yeah, you roll, the d66 roll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so I figured, okay, I'm gonna, what's nice is too, if they have a mark already that they have, like so these are he actually has a mark of Nurgle because he's Typhus. So with Typhus or the Terminator Champion that has the mark of Nurgle, I could actually make it a Nurgle Demon Prince, not just a normal Demon Prince, as long as you have the model. But I figured at least just have one for now, just to have on hand, and maybe I'll get two more down the road. On, on the very, very rare off chance that both of them get Demon Princes. Now, this is a question from, I'm sure a lot of our viewers are asking, will also want to play Chaos, Chaos Space Marines or Nurgle specifically. Um, when a uh, when a, yeah, when a champion of Nurgle succeeds on, you know, Apotheosis and becomes a Nurgle Demon Prince, what kind of kit do they come with? Uh, it's just, it's basic loadout. You, so what you would take is, 
whether it's Typhus, a Terminator Champion, or even a, a Plague, Plague Marine Champion, it's a standard Terminator, no upgrade. Uh, sorry, standard Demon Prince, no upgrades. But it does say, so let's say you have on that particular model a mark of any kind, whether it's Duro, Sonesse, Corn, or Zinch, you can take a Demon Prince with that mark. And what that means is it's a standard Demon Prince, but in the Demon Prince rule, you can upgrade the Demon Prince to have a different mark of one of the four gods. And that's the only thing it comes with. Like, that is a possibility. But if you just have a regular Chaos Space Rain with no mark of any kind, whether it's a Terminator, uh, uh, you know, a regular Chaos Space Rain, they become a Demon Prince with no upgrade. All right, War Gamers. Well, that was Mark's uh, 1500 Chaos Space Marine list. Very impressive, I must say. Get back over there. How did I get on this side? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that's Mark's list. And if any of you guys have suggestions to make his army improve his army or just make changes in general, or if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'll be happy to pass it along to him. So, War Gamers, good to see you again. Have a good one. Are you sure you don't want to take off your hat? No, I'm not going to take off my hat. Why not? God damn it, Greg. What? You know my hair's all funked up. No, it's not. Come on, show the people show the people your head. Come on, come on. Come you want to see my head? Yes. <laughs> yes, I do want to see your head. <laughs> no, that head. Not that. No, not that. You sicko. That's yeah, so, so Ugh. Talking about. Yeah, good point. <laughs> oh, I did have it like that. Uh. It isn't done yet. No Too late! Yeah. <laughs> it's good you post on my video and the bloopers are real. I hope you know this. Yeah, I know. Okay. I'm usually the one that has a bunch of bloopers. Actually, no, but... I'm crazy. Well, uh, that's true. Oh, it's got... oh no, did it? Oh, never mind. Uh, yeah. <laughs> help me.